हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक हाइब्रिड एंड फ्यूल सेल व्हीकल्स दैट इज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रिक प्रपल्शन राइट इन द केस ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक प्रपल्शन वी विल सी अबाउट द प्रपल्सिंग डिवाइसेस द मोटर्स दैट इज बीइंग यूज्ड टू ट्रांसमिट द एनर्जी ऑफ द बैटरी इनटू द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी सो दैट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी नीड्स टू बी जनरेटेड इनटू द व्हीकल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द motors or we can say with the help of the traction motors that we are going to use in the vehicle for the electric vehicles and as well as hybrid electric vehicles so in the case of the energy storage we saw about the batteries that we use and the other uh, alternate methods to store the battery or to supply the electricity in case of the vehicles so that electricity now has to be propelled for the vehicle working so let's start with the electric propel propulsion the first is the considerations for the electric vehicle for designing the motor which are the considerations so there are mainly three considerations that has to be kept in mind before designing the traction motor for our electric vehicle for that first is the expectations of the driver what driver want to achieve with the help of the electric vehicle has to be kept in mind does he want efficiency does he want uh, to drive the vehicle at a higher speed does he want to get uh, the higher acceleration or he want a higher torque depending on the driver expectations the vehicle will be designed or the motor will be designed for the vehicle next is the constraint of the vehicle so for that the vehicle weight the vehicle design the space in the vehicle the payload on the vehicle all these things are the factors for the selection of electric motor and the last one is the energy source that we are using right either it is battery or ultra capacitor or fuel cell depending on that the type of the motor will be selected for the required purpose right so these are the basic considerations for the electric motor this is a basic propulsion system that is used for our electric vehicle so in that you can see that there is an electronic controller which is connected with our power converter which gives the dc to dc conversion of the power or dc to ac depending on the battery or the motor that we are using either dc motor or ac motor we are using depending on that the power converter will be selected dc to dc or dc to ac converter the battery supplies the dc power so if the motor is dc motor then we will require dc to dc converter and if we are using ac motor then we will require an ac dc to ac converter so the power converter is connected with battery and further it is connected with electric motor and that is further connected with the transmission and differential now with the electronic controller we have connected different softwares which gives us the control or we can say the energy management strategies which is defined in that system you can see the name fuzzy logic that is being used in the system the hardware that is being used in the system will be connected for the electronic controller the microprocessor the microcontroller the transmitter depending on the system these things will be attached with our electronic controller the power converter will be used in the vehicle that is a chopper which is a dc to dc converter a inverter which is dc to ac converter we will use either one of them in the most cases the electric motor there are different types that is dc motor induction motor uh, sr motor pm motor right the synchronous motor this type of motor and the selection of motor will be done by considering the different considerations for our electric vehicle so this is a basic uh, propulsion system that can be used for the electric vehicle for the different types of the motors now the concept of the ev motors which are the requirements which conditions should be fulfilled by the ev motors so for that the first one is the maximum torque the maximum torque value should be more than 4 to 5 times the torque that is actually being developed by the vehicle at the highway running the maximum speed again should be 4 to 5 times higher according to the requirement 
the vehicle driving profile in which conditions the vehicle is going to be driven is an important factor for the vehicle driving as well the high power density in the case of the power that is being generated from the electric motor that should be higher the efficiency of the motor should be higher which means the electricity which is being supplied to the motor should be properly utilized and that uh, energy should be properly distributed in the motor and that motor should distribute the required power to our axle system next is the high controllability it should be easily controlled and it should be highly controlled and the power should be controlled very easily and very uh, efficiently high steady state accuracy during the steady state condition it should have higher accuracy the good dynamic performance in the dynamic condition in the different condition the performance of the motor should not compromise and it should give us the, uh, the ratings that it should be required and then it is going to be used in all the conditions so this is a different from the industrial motor the industrial motor are going to be used at a single place and there condition can be uh, we can generally the condition we know which condition it is going to face but in case of the electric vehicle the motors will withstand high temperatures bad weather condition and the frequent vibrations right so these factors should be taken in uh, consideration whenever we are selecting our electric motor for our vehicle specifically right because it is going to be withstanding this type of different conditions during its lifetime or during the driving of our vehicle next this is the basic ev motor configurations that we going to use for the electric vehicle there are two types that is single motor and dual motor if we are using the single motor arrangement in that you can see that electric con electronic controller is connected with power converter and it is connected with electric motor then transmission then it is connected with the differential if we are using the two electric motors then both have different transmission and power converter but the differential will not be required because the function of the differential will be satisfied by using two different motors we will change the speeds of the two different motors and during the turning the speed changing will be done easily without differential by directly using two motors also in the different configuration we can use the electric motor directly inside the wheels as well and also in wheel arrangements are given for the electric vehicles in which there is an omission of the transmission as well directly the motor is connected with the wheels in which we do not require to use the transmission system next is the classification of the different ev motors so in the case of the ev motors base basically there are two a commutator type and the commutator less type mainly there are two in the case of the commutator type you can see for the dc motor if it is self excited in which series and shunt type in the separately excited motor it is field excited or pm excited which is permanent magnet in the case of the commutator less there is two types or you can say basically first induction motor and second is synchronous motor right and others are the pm brushless dt dc motor which is permanent magnet brushless dc motor sr motor that is switched reluctance motor and the last one is the pm hybrid motor so these are the basic classified motors or the ev motors that we are going to use or that we can select for our vehicle this is basically a example of which type of motors we are using right now in different electric vehicles right these are not the indian vehicles but just for a basic idea we will just discuss which type of motors are going to be used or are being used right now in which type of vehicles so we will have an better clarification of the motors so for that first the fiat panda electra uses a series dc motor the mazda bongo uses a shunt dc motor the conceptor g van uses separately excited dc motor the suzuki senior tricycle uses pm dc motor the fiat 
Electra uses induction motor. The Ford Think City uses again induction motor. The GM EVI uses an induction motor. The Honda EV Plus uses PM synchronous motor. Same with Nissan Altra and same with Toyota RA V4. And the last chloride Lucas uses an switched reluctance motor. So from this we will going to see about the DC motors. There are series shunt. These are the types of the DC motors. We will also see the PM DC motor that is permanent magnet, induction motor and switch reluctance motor. So basically there are four types of motor that we are actually using in our electric vehicles for the propulsion of the power that is coming from the battery. So by using these type of motors we are getting the power that is required for our electric vehicle and we can generally uh, divide this power and we can generally supply this power and control this motor pretty easily or evenly. So in the next lecture we will see about the different power electronics that is used in the vehicle and also we will see about the different controlling methods that can be obtained in the system. Then we will see about this motors in which we will see configuration and the control of the motor in very brief. We will not see about the detailed modeling of the motors because it is very much complicated thing in which we have to go into the mathematical modeling which is not in the scope of this syllabus for now. We will just see about the configuration and the control of the motors. Until then, thank you so much.